guys, welcome back. This is episode two of a three-part series on my channel where we're swatching through March Polish Pickup. So if you missed yesterday's video, it's just the video right before this one on my channel. Today we are swatching in through J. Now I was not sent every polish from every maker that is participating in Polish Pickup this month, but about 75% of them sent me their polishes. So we're doing a live swatch just like the regular videos on my channel so you can see how these apply for me, just a pretty basic person, how they go on for me, and then you can see my swatch of them and give you kind of an idea how they're gonna work for you. That's what my channel's all about. If you're new here and you like this style of video where you're watching a live application of polish, if you find that it helps you get a little bit better idea of what a polish is gonna be like before you purchase, more so than just a picture, then go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you guys here. I swatched through pretty much all of the big mainstream brands that release seasonal collections. I also swatch through a lot of indie polishes. And on Saturdays we have a fun, just more chill hangout type of video. If you just happen to click on this video, not because of Polish Pickup. Polish Pickup is a collective indie nail polish event that happens the first Friday through Monday of every month. It's at polishpickup.com. And you can shop just in one place from about 100 different makers. Just creative people that own their own small businesses making nail polish and you can shop there for just one shipping price. If you're in the US, it's a flat rate $3 shipping price. So it's a super awesome deal. So the first polish that we're gonna look at today is actually one of the first polishes that I received this month. So I've had quite a while to play with this polish. This is from the brand Noodles Nail Lacquer, and the polish is called My Favorite Color Is You. This title is very familiar to me. It is from a band that does come up on my YouTube music playlist quite a bit. This is inspired by the AJR album, The Click. And the description says, a blackened indigo crelly, which leans charcoal, with violet gold shifting shimmer, rainbow color shifting flakies, bronze flakies, copper, aqua, and lavender glitters, and violet green gold color shifting flakies. There's a lot going on in this polish, you guys. It's stunningly beautiful, very, very dark violet shade that could look like you're wearing a black polish on your nail, except that it's covered in a rainbow of flakies. So this polish is going to be $12 and there is just 125 bottles. This swatches so nicely at two coats. It's really pigmented So you really don't need to work to get this polish opaque on your nail So again, this is my favorite color is you from noodles nail polish Like I mentioned in yesterday's video I am going to be going quickly through these polishes if I'm ever going too fast for you Just hit pause and on the very last picture of each polish. I have some information listed for you That's a good place to Push pause, take notes if you need to, anything like that. But we have to go quickly because we're looking at about 25 polishes each day. Next up we are looking at Night Owl Lacquer and this polish is very soothing. It's kind of like reaches into my soul and just is very calming but it has beautiful bright sparks of color. So it's called No Scars to Your Beautiful. It's inspired by Alessia Cara's album. The album is called Know It All and specifically the song Scars to Your Beautiful um, it's one of the maker's all-time favorite songs since it released and it has such an important message. The description for this polish reads, A grade teal crelly with lots of red gold ultra chrome chameleon flakies and that is so true. It's absolutely packed and the look of these gold to bronze to red flakies against that teal and it's a beautiful refined cream formula. Nido Lacquer does some amazing creams on her website as well. This is No Scars Too Beautiful. I did two coats. It's listed for $11 and there is no cap. This next one is another one that I've had a while to play with and a while to just gawk at. It's this beautiful orange that has shifting shimmer in it. And this is from the brand Nevermind Polish. It's called You Don't See Me, which is ironic because you kind of can't not look at this polish. So this polish's inspiration is Mer de Nam album by A Perfect Circle. And the description reads, a marmalade orange with orange to yellow to red aurora pigment and red to orange to gold multi-chrome flakies. It's just such a beautiful progression through the spectrum of colors there. <sighs> you guys, this polish glows. It's got these dynamic flakies coming off the top. It gets nice and opaque in just two coats. So the price point here is $12 and there are 200 bottles available. And I just really love Marmalade orange. Marmalade is so delicious, by the way. If I could just eat toast and marmalade, oh my goodness. But also, 
Marmalade Orange. I just love that. It's so sunny and warm. And this is one of just a few polishes that even touches this color spectrum this month. So it kind of stands out. Next up we have a polish from Necessary Evil. This polish is called Strange Fruit. And the inspiration is Billie Holiday's Strange Fruit album. And I love Billie Holiday. It made me so happy to see that this was inspired by her. It's described as a red base with orange undertones to almost a coral because it has that gorgeous shifty quality there. It's a light multi-chrome shift that ranges from blue to gold to orange to purple. Scattered hollow, tons of blue to gold UCC, which is Ultra Chameleon Chrome Flakes, and orange crystal flakes. So a lot going on, you guys. So you're getting both the freckling of the Ultra Chameleon Chrome Flake, which is the kind that you can't see through. That's the multi-chrome shift that they've made into a flaky. And then the iridescent flaky. That's kind of more like the fish scale flaky, where you're seeing the light pass through it, and it can sometimes change the look depending on the base color of your polish. And this swatches so nicely. I'm gonna give you two coats here so you can see how this goes on. Really easy to play with. It's beautifully holographic in the sun, you guys. Such a stunning polish. So this one is listed for $12 a bottle and there are 120 bottles. So this is Necessary Evil Strange Fruit. Next up, we're looking at a polish from Native War Paints. And this polish is named Welcome to the Tragic Kingdom, which for me, happily, is inspired by No Doubt. I love No Doubt, specifically the Tragic Kingdom album. It's described as a deep, dark blue jelly with red to green Aurora pigment. I know it says blue jelly, but I see purple. I tend to associate a lot of blues as purples. I, maybe I just want the whole world to be purple. This has a stunning Aurora pigment in it that shines gloriously green at some angles. It swatches so nicely in two coats. There is no cap on this polish and it is listed for $13 a bottle. So I swatch this for you at two coats. This is Welcome to the Tragic Kingdom by Native War Paints. Okay, this polish is one of the ones that I had such a struggle with not singing the title of it to you guys every time. If you don't know, on Instagram, on Instagram stories, I've been swatching through all these polishes there as well. So if you didn't get quite a long enough look at each of these polishes here, you can also go over to my Instagram. I've been having a hard time not singing Don't Stop Believing I Love Journey so much. And you guys, this is a purple holographic flaky. It's so, so beautiful. So this is from the brand Nailed It and they named their polish Don't Stop Believing. And the description on this polish says a blurple base with red to gold shifting shimmer, which a lot of the times looks like this beautiful pink glow coming off this polish. It has purple to blue to green ultra chameleon chrome flakies, crystal chameleon chrome flakies, and scattered hollow. So similar to the last polish that we just looked at, we have the hollow in there, we have a multi-chrome flaky and a chameleon flaky. So you're getting that beautiful mix of all three of those. The multi-chrome flaky and chameleon flaky are giving me bright pops of pink and orange and we've got fuchsia in there. It's so, so sparkly, you guys. I really need a dress out of this polish. This polish is priced at $12.75 and there are 100 bottles available. Next up, we have the brand Nail Hoot and they have this adorable little owl in their logo. I have loved it for years. Their polish is called Pieces of You. It is inspired by Jules' album, Pieces of You, also an album that is close to my heart. It may be the very first album I ever bought myself. I love Jewel. This is described as a delightful Caribbean blue polish filled to the brim with iridescent color changing flakies and purple sparkle. They aren't kidding, it's absolutely filled to the brim. And it's been a while since I've heard something described as Caribbean blue and I love it so much. It's almost like they combined and yeah, another favorite of mine, and another album I bought at the same time with Jewel. I love it. So the glow in this polish is this soft pink, and it's so, so beautiful, you guys. This swatches up nicely in two to three coats, but it's soft, beautiful, such a rainbow of these greens and golds and pinks and the flakies. This is Pieces of You from Nail Hoot. This polish is on the website for $9.50, and there is no cap. Next up, we're gonna talk about the brand My Stunning Nails, and they've recently had a bottle change I've noticed, and it has this adorable little bow on there. My Stunning Nails brings us the polish Purple Rain. They were inspired this month by Deep Purple, and the description says dark purple jelly with lighter purple and orange flakies and hollow. 
So this polish again has one of those effects that just looks like it's twinkling and glistening across the surface. And I can definitely see those little micro flakies in there just really making a gorgeous light gleam off of this nail. It swatches easily in two coats. This is Purple Rain from My Stunning Nails. There are going to be 68 bottles available and it's on the website for $9.95. We're looking at a polish inspired by Johnny Cash. This is from the brand My Indie Polish. The polish's name is Man in Black, and the description reads a black, crelly, opaque in two to three coats with silver flake and a good dose of holographic. So I actually got this opaque in just one coat. It's very, very pigmented, and the silver flakies are just gorgeous. There's also beautiful holographic going throughout. You really don't have to work a lot to get coverage on this polish. I'm showing you the two coats, but as you're seeing, it's basically opaque at just the one. I also took this out in the sun to play with it since it does have holographic in it as well. This polish is listed for $12.50 and there is no cap. So this is my indie polish, Man in Black. polish at its base has one of my favorite colors ever and this is kind of like a medium periwinkle I love periwinkle so much because I love blue periwinkle is just such a favorite of mine it is my happy place it just does things to my brain it's like little magic dust for my brain that says be happy that's how this color makes me feel what is your happy color you should put that in the comments today. So this is from the brand Music City Beauty. And I gave you that little preface so that you would know why I have this ginormous smile on my face when I'm talking about this polish. I just love this color so, so much. And then the maker put scads, I don't think I've used that word in a while, scads of multi-chrome flakies throughout this polish. It is called Time After Time. It's inspired by Cyndi Lauper. Her album, She's So Unusual, and the description reads, blue crelly with red shimmer and copper to fuchsia to gold ultra chameleon chrome flakies. This polish is going to be $11.50 and there are 90 bottles available. So this is Music City Beauty, time after time. Okay, so next up we're gonna be talking about our first thermal. It just so happens that in the tail end of the alphabet we didn't have any thermals that I was sent, but we're gonna have a bunch today and a bunch tomorrow. So this first one has a different shift than anything else this month. It's going from this yummy bronze shade to this like bright light shamrock green. It's very cool. This polish is called Nights Are Forever in Corduroy and the brand is MTK Design. It is inspired by England Dan and John Foley Nights Are Forever album cover. The description says, classic 70s burnt bronzy rust when cool but warms to bright sea foam green, thermal saturated with bold disco style linear hollow for that uber 70s glitz and finishes off with a strong copper gold shimmer for that warm, squishy, nostalgic sepia vibe. I just love that this maker's inspiration has absolutely infused itself completely through this polish. I totally get the exact feel that she's going for and it's so, so pretty, you guys. In the bottle, I would never be like, oh yeah, that's gonna be this righteous green shade in just a minute but it is, and it has beautiful shimmer and hollow through it as well. This polish is going to be $12.50, and there are 90 bottles available. So, Nights Are Forever in Corduroy, MTK Design. Next up we have our first of two stamping polishes that we're gonna talk about in today's video. This polish is from Moonflower Polish, and it's called You're All I Need. Moonflower Polish this month was inspired by Collective Souls dosage album art. I also had that album when I was a kiddo. That's another one of the first albums that I purchased when I was in middle school. This polish is described as an indigo cream base with red to gold multi-chrome shimmer and scattered hollow. Designed primarily as a stamping polish, use over black for the most intense sparkly and shifty effect or over lighter colors for a pretty shimmering periwinkle. Can also be worn as a regular polish in one to two coats dry semi-matte Finish with top coat for shine. I did play around with stamping for this polish. I always have to make sure you guys know I am not a pro stamper. I've had some experience with it, 
not a ton. But I did the best that I could do. The maker was aware that I don't have tons of stampin' experience. This is a really beautiful shade, you guys. It's purple, but the strong coppery gold shimmer coming off of it is so, so beautiful. And I really like this, both as a stamping polish and on its own. It's gonna be available for $12.50 at polishpickup.com, and there are 70 bottles available. So next up, I get to talk to you about Moonshine Manny. If you don't know, Moonshine Manny is my indie brand. As well as being a YouTube creator and reviewing things for you here on YouTube, I also have my own indie nail polish brand. I named it Moonshine Manny because my last name is Moon and I want your nails to sparkle and shine. So my polish this month is called Uncover You. And I have described it as a soft mauve filled with vibrant purple to blue and violet to red to orange chameleon flakies and glowing pink to gold to green aurora shimmer. This polish is inspired by the artwork on the EP Uncover You from Fair Lane. When I was setting out to come up with my polish for this month, I thought I could go through my YouTube music app and see what stuff I've been listening to lately and pick an image that I thought was particularly beautiful. There were a lot of cool things to go with, but I decided to go with Fairlane's Uncover You EP. Oftentimes when I'm making polish, I'm either listening to an audiobook or I'm listening to my music. So picking an inspiration for my playlist really made sense for me because those sounds have really been making their way into my nail polish as well because I'm listening to them and they're subconsciously influencing me. I wanted to add a ton of flickies to this polish. For the most part, you're seeing these bright pops of pink and orange and green, and it's got this shimmer. Again, you're seeing pink and gold and green. And this is a curly base, so you're gonna wanna build this up. As you build it up, you're building up the pigment coloration, but also you're just getting tons of flickies on your nail. So I'm showing you three coats of this today. This is Uncover You by Moonshine Manny. This polish is going to be $12 and there is no cap. Next up we're looking at another Australian brand. This is McFresh and this is another thermal. So see this gorgeous like deep fuchsia pink shade. It goes from this shade to a light whitish pink. This polish is called Only Happy When It Rains and it's inspired by the band Garbage and specifically their self-titled album. It's described as a vivid dark bright pink when cold which fades to a whitish pink when warm. White and pink flakies and glitters to contrast each color state. This is incredibly sparkling because of those white flakies in there. It's really, really pretty. And then you're getting the bright pops of the pink coming out against the base color as well. I really enjoy this in both the light and the darker state. I'm gonna swatch this for you at three coats. This polish is gonna be on the website for $14 a bottle. And there are 95 bottles available. So this is McFresh, only happy when it rains. have a polish from Lynn B Designs and it's called How Amusing and the maker was inspired by the band Muse, another one of my very favorites. It's very instrumental, it's very like rock opera sounding and I just love it. Specifically she was inspired by the Muse Simulation Theory cover. It's described as a white base with micro hollow flakies, blue to purple to pink to red shifting shimmer and two different ultra chameleon chrome flakies. One shifts from indigo to blue to purple to pink to orange at extreme angles, and one shifts from purple to blue to pink to gold. So she's pretty much got all of her bases covered. I even see green in there as well, I think as the flaky is moving through the colors. This is absolutely packed with flakies. This swatches so nicely in two coats. You're getting that beautiful kind of pink to blue gleam coming off the nail. And this polish is listed for $12 on the Polish Pickup website. And there are going to be 200 bottles available. So this is how amusing. And if you want to head over to polishpickup.com right now, you can wishlist these items as I'm talking about them. Okay, so next up we have our first out of three magnetics that I was sent this month. This is from the brand Lucky 13 Lacquer. And it is called too weird to live, too rare to die, and it's inspired by the Panic at the Disco album of the same name. This polish is described as a rich coppery red to olive to emerald multichrome with bright blue to teal magnetic pigment. 
The magnet is not included in the price on the website, so you'll need to either purchase one on the website or maybe you already have one at home. So even before you use the magnet, this looks really cool. You've got the hints of the blue and then it's definitely very green to gold and a slight bit of copper on the edges. But then when you add the magnet, which you're going to see me do on the second coat, it's so gorgeous with that turquoise pulled out against this polish. I really, really love it. It swatches very nicely in two coats. It's actually really, really opaque. And I also found that if I took a heavier swatch and like I had more polish on the nail, I was getting a more dramatic effect with the magnet. So this is too weird to live, too rare to die. It is on the website for $14 a bottle and there are 135 bottles. The next polish that we are swatching through today is from Lollipop Posse Lacquer and this polish has so many flakies i think that they took all the flakies from like over the whole land she, the makers send out for all the flakies give me all the flakies and let me put it into one bottle of polish it's quite stunning you guys this polish is called among a million same and it is inspired by a perfect circles three libras single cover and the description says a blurple curly base filled with red to green to gold shifting aurora shimmer Copper to red to green to gold iridescent flakies and pink to red to green iridescent flakies. See, she's kind of got all of it going on in here. The strongest vibes that I get are this beautiful green, then this amazing orangey copper, and then this super hot pink. It's so beautiful, and all of that is inside this rich blurple curly base. It's just so beautiful, you guys. I kind of can't get over it. This is Among a Million Same from Lollipop Posse Lacquer. It is $13 a bottle and there is no cap, so go crazy on it. Next up, we're looking at a polish from Lily Pad Lacquer and if you were looking for a beautifully holographic but soft, glowing baby pink, they have got it for you. So this polish is called It's Not Me, It's You, which I love, inspired by Lily Allen. And um, this is described as a baby pink cream with geometric scattered hollow pigment with pink flakies and pink sheen. That's the pink glow coming off of it. It's just so delicate and beautiful, you guys. It swatches beautifully in two coats. And you have that gorgeous holographic rainbow coming off of this polish. It's just so cute. I love the sentiment of this polish, though. I love Lily Allen. She's so cheeky. And this is just such a fun polish. It is going to be $15.50. And there is no cap. So you've watched me swatch this in two coats. This is Lily Pad Lacquer. It's not me, it's you. Next up we have a polish from Lemming Lacquer. They've named their polish Lungs. It's inspired by Florence and the Machine, who has another band that I really enjoy, and specifically from the album Lungs. This polish is described as a dark turquoise jelly with orange to red shimmer, and iridescent flaky shifting from blue to green, turquoise, gold, orange, and pink. So again, we have another maker that's pulled a number of different chameleon flakies and put them in here, giving us this amazing rainbow of flippy flakies in a bottle against this really beautiful dark teal base. And it swatches so nicely in two coats. There are so many flakies in here that it just completely builds your nail up in just two coats, especially with the rich dark pigment. This polish applies just beautifully. I swatched it in two coats. This is Lungs from Lemming Lacquer. They've listed this polish for $13 on the website and there are 275 bottles available. Here we have our second stamping polish of the month. This time we have this kind of light sky blue to periwinkle shade with a gorgeous strong purple glow. This is from the brand Lantern and & Wren and it's called Illuminate. And Illuminate is inspired by the Aladdin soundtrack. Illuminate is one of the things that the genie says. And this is described as a stamping polish slash one coat nail polish, which it is, in a periwinkle blue with purple shimmer. The purpley color comes through when used as a one coater and magically appears just like a genie when you stamp it over darker colors. I did really enjoy this polish. I found it pretty easy to stamp with, even for me who is not a proficionado at stamping. And I really liked it on its own as well as a one coat cream polish. So this is really beautiful, you guys. Again, inspired by Aladdin's Genie. And the maker has listed this polish for $12 on the website and there are 100 bottles available. Here we go with another thermal this month. This time it's going from this dark 
chocolatey brown to a nude color. And this polish is from Lacquer Lust, and it's called That's The Way Love Goes. This is inspired by Janet Jackson's album, Janet. And when I was in high school, um, I think we did a dance to this song in my dance class, but my dance teacher always had this album on. It's kind of funny. But yeah, this is another album that I owned. Um, it's described as a brown to nude thermal with copper and gold shimmers and hollow copper micro glitters. I love the copper and gold in here. Again, we have a really toasty shade. These makers that were inspired to help us feel warm right now when everybody is so cold. This swatches so nicely in one to two coats. I didn't even feel like I needed that much to get this opaque, which is also really, really beautiful. And it's easy to transition. So it goes to those two different shades of neutral with beautiful bright sparks of gold and copper. This is That's The Way Love Goes from Lacquer Lust. And it's listed for $12 and there is no cap. Here we are at KB Shimmer. KB Shimmer's polish is called The Kid. This polish is inspired by Prince and specifically the movie Purple Rain and the album cover for Purple Rain and the character that Prince played when he was the kid in the film, the kid. This is a tri-thermal polish. It's going to go from a super, super hot pink to a purpley shade to this darker purple shade. This polish also has gorgeous micro flakies that shift from purple to copper to gold. It makes it really, really warm and it changes depending on which state your polish is in. This one is very, very shifty. It affects almost immediately to any temperature change, which was really cool. So KB Shimmer has priced this at $10 on the Polish Pickup website and there is gonna be no cap. Next, we're looking at another thermal. This time, it's this awesome green. It goes from this color here, which is the colder state, to a brighter, lighter lime green. So this is j Rain Skirt with three R's, which I love that. And this polish is inspired by Skrillex. As you can see, it is absolutely packed with flakies and the bright orange looks so awesome against the green. This is a description says bright neon green to neon lime thermal loaded with OG unicorn pea, aurora green teal blue, and red green gold shifting flakes. You guys, this is so, so bright. My camera had a hard time even capturing it. Um, if you are looking for a fantastic neon thermal to warm up your March, then this is it, you guys. It is so fantastic. Swatches so nicely in just two coats. So this is j Rain Skirt. It's going to be $15 with no cap. So we're going to finish things off today with another thermal. We've got Gior Couture here. And this polish is going from hot pink to this gorgeous shade of purple. And the name of the polish is WTF which is inspired by Missy Elliott's WTF, which stands for Where Are They From, featuring Pharrell Williams. I'm trying to read out loud the maker's description for you, but I'm just sounding like an idiot. Uh, but you just need to go read it on the website. But basically, it's a violet to bright pink thermal. It's got a violet to pink aurora glow inside the thermal. And it dries to a gorgeous matte finish, but you can shine it up with a shiny top coat which makes the Aurora pigment really, really glow. So again, another really easy shifter here, and I love that bright contrast between the neon pink and this gorgeous shade of purple. And I love purple with a green to red shift in it. It's just one of my faves ever. So this swatch is so nicely in two coats. This is WTF by Gior Couture, and it's priced at $12.50, and there will be no cap. So that's it for today, you guys. You made it from N to J. I hope you enjoyed today. I really just want to help you out, let you get an idea of what these polishes swatch like so you know before you purchase. Tell me down below what your favorites are. I'm dying to know. Are you going to try any new brands this month? You always get the lovely chance whenever you try a new brand of finding your new favorite. So that's always exciting for me. Again, Polish Pickup starts this Friday in just two more days on polishpickup.com. The link is in the description bar below. You can click on that, go over and start wishlisting if you haven't started yet already. I will see you back hopefully for the next video tomorrow. Please join me. We're looking at the final third of the makers that I was sent polishes for. So I will see you back then. Have a terrific day and take care. Bye.